So apparently Kyle went into Campbell's and bought two screws for 60 cents. So there you go. You okay. Cody, oh no, wait, Cody edited this. What did he do? Oh no, I'm scared. Yay, the stream's live. Well, if stuff's different. Now I know why. Why did Shokutra go into Google? Hmm? Why did Shokutra go into Google? Because Kutra went to Google. Gonna chill up here. Is this how this is gonna go? Uh, you know, you could not be a dick to me. Oh, I didn't mean to be a dick. I just just want to say things. Well, you're about to hear your own voice. Now okay. Okay. We're now good. I know why. Okay. Um. Okay. Think comes in quality on this. That's about as good as it's gonna be. I would like some statistics on like how many minutes we're late each meeting, unless like a delta. You know, no, no, no. I think it's fair statistics. Because it's, it's always, it's always going to be positive. It's never more than five minutes? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, guys. It's getting close. You know. Oh, it's... it's are good. Are we good to go? Uh, can I get a questions laptop at some point? Here. I'm going to stand up here with you this whole time. Oh, no. I can actually... I can actually... Well, that's fine, too. That's perfect. Okay. So, obviously, you guys are deaf sec. I would assume you have figured this out by now. <laughs> That's good. So first things first, uh, we are having some officer elections. Normally we do these at uh, the spring semester. Uh, Nick can slack them if you don't remember what they are. Is I'm it not capital gonna... G? <sighs> Great, guys. Now we lost the character. It, no, I think it's lowercase. Um, I could be wrong. So normally we do this at the end of the semester, next semester actually, because, you know, that's the, when we – have the year turn around. However, because we are having some people leave here in like, you know, a week and at the midterm point, we're we gonna be electing two more officers to fill the gap because we're losing Mike here in like a week or two. Hi. And we're losing Nick at December. So we're trying to elect two new officers to kind of fill their slots. Uh, we are accepting nominations now, today, and up to next week when we're gonna have the actual election. You can nominate yourself, you can nominate another person. If you nominate another person, they do have to actually, you know, accept the nomination. We just can't elect random people into the, into the office, no matter how much we want to. Uh, just to restate, this is a quick turnaround, but we are doing elections next week on Tuesday. So if you're interested in doing it, get your nomination in there. You do not have to be present at that meeting. I know there's going to be a couple people gone. Um, in general, the way it's going to be set up is we're probably going to use a Google form like we've used in previous years. The only person who will actually see your vote will be Cody. Um, Cody's normally back there. He's kind of the, he's not back here today. He's normally back there, the faculty mentor for DevSec. So he will be the only person seeing it. None of the officers will see it. Nobody else will see it besides him. And that's just for validation purposes. So when you write, you know, 50 ballots and that say, you know, BillGates at gmail.com, we can throw those out. Um, well, it doesn't matter because he doesn't have a DSU email address. We're, we're a little selective here. We're not just. You know, if Bill Gates shows up, then. I will gladly accept his paper ballot. <laughs> okay, I'm clearing off all these questions. Um, There's way too many. Oh, that's all great. Fr fresh state. Okay, then. So if you ask a question, do it again. We can answer it. Yeah. So something important to note, these people will only be staying until the spring semester again. At the spring semester mark, you know, closer to the end of the school year, we will be having elections again. So anybody who is elected an officer will have to run for re-election at that time if they want to continue on. Something important to note, uh, I'm leaving, as I said, these two, these two guys are going to be out by the semester mark, and I'll be leaving at that semester. So ideally, you don't have to do this. This is a recommendation for people electing people. Um, if we want continuity, if we want to have the same people, then if you elect the same the people who are going to leave at that spring semester point, then we're going to have an entirely fresh set of people, nobody who's, you know, be done this before, been an officer before, and knows how things kind of work behind the scenes. So if you want to have that continuity, elect somebody who is going to stick around past the end of this year. So hopefully I made that, you know, completely muddy and unclear. But, yeah. So that's first topic. Second topic we're getting into... Um, we want to change how some things have been going in DevSec. We want to uh, we, we make some changes. That's the simple way of saying things. 
Uh, we're not 100% content with how we've been doing some things. So we, we, we do want to adjust some things. And that's kind of the most important thing is that for this session, I want your guys' feedback. We'll have a discussion at the very end. But if you guys have questions, if you don't agree with anything I'm saying up here, table that and have it ready to go at the end because at the end of this meeting, we're going to have a discussion period where we can discuss our proposed changes of how to make DevSec better. Okay, that's funny. Um, <laughs> so most of the stuff we're, we're going to be messing with here is kind of the meeting length, which I know you guys have all loved. The meeting type, you know, what we're actually doing, whether it's a, a lecture or a lab or something else, and kind of the intended audience we're doing with. Because obviously we, well, not obviously, but we've normally tailored, at least during the first couple of weeks and up to this point, towards people who don't know as much of what they're doing, which we have tailoring towards newer people. So uh, the first proposed change is that we are splitting up meetings. We are having a hard start, start time and a hard stop time for Linux and Windows. So Windows will go from 5.30 to 6.15. There will be a, a 10 minute break while we switch around. And then Linux will go from 6.25 to 7.10. Um, do with, hmm? What if Windows ends early? Will just there will be a period of time that exists in which you can ask me questions or whatever else. I'm gonna be honest, in general, we run long, we don't run short, but there will be a 45 minute cap. That will be a hard cap. We will cut people off after that. Um, on nights when there's you know a common topic like networking, we're just gonna be doing basically the first slot. Maybe they'll run a little bit longer, maybe they'll run a full hour. Uh, we'll play with that number. You know, We don't wanna make things too long. But if you wanna go to both, be my guest. Um, but we are splitting it up. Is this, is this Cody? I don't know who's saying the meetings Behave. are longer. Uh, yes, yes, comments. Please make meetings longer. Easy solution, like four hours long. Okay. I am <laughs> sure everyone agrees with this statement. Wait, so we'll just take that as, you know, truth. Um, we're going to be modifying how we do content. And once again, guys, nothing here is set in stone. If you have issues with anything we're saying up here, keep that in mind. We will be discussing it. You will get a chance to say, oh, I hate everything you've said, and all your Ds are terrible, and so on. So uh, we're planning on reducing the lecture period, the period where we just stand up here with slides and talk about things. Um, I'd like to cut that down to like five minutes. Um, I want to focus on the hands-on stuff. So for that, it's mostly going to be you know lab-based stuff. There will be some objective goals for the lab. Like if it's networking and you're setting up a firewall, you will have at the end of this lab, these, these ports to these services we will go through, and these won't. That's the objective goal. There is, uh, and that might be, uh, and once again, we'll play with that a little bit. Maybe that's something where we accomplish everything we want to get done. Maybe there will be another box left over for you guys to mess with if you on your own. Um, that our plan to do this is basically every three, um, every three meetings. That's what we want to do. So for, we're going to do this for three meetings in a row, and then at at the end of that, at the next meeting after those three meetings, there's going to be a mini mock. And it's not going to be quite the same as like the competitions we normally have. It's not going to be drawn out four hours. It's not going to go that long. The goal isn't to, you know, like stomp the other teams into the dust. It's to, to learn and to, to, to apply what you've done in a different setting and to basically re restate and reinforce those concepts. Um, ideally, it's going to be in a situation where there will be red team action taking place while you're doing these things. You know, things might not go to plan. Maybe they beat you to stuff, but it's in a scenario where we can learn and get better and we, as the people who know where we've been here for a while, can help you out. And then also the right team can, you know, shed some light on what they're doing and say what you could have done to prevent it. Uh, we also have the idea for some occasional project days. These might, you know, happen as a set, like every fifth meeting, or they might kind of be, you know, whenever. Um, these are days when you guys can come in and ask questions and just work on some general stuff. Uh, we also plan to have certain desktop projects that we're going to be working on during these period, periods of times like um, automating mocks, setting up some stuff for that, uh, setting up some stuff for the scoring engine, which Nick has basically read the entirety of and definitely, definitely could use some help trying to rewrite some portions and you know add in more functionality because we'd love to have more functionality in the scoring engine. And things like the red, uh, a possible red team engine, other stuff we can use to get better in DevSec. Um, I think that's pretty much all I want to do there. But the main idea is, let's assume we have you know, three meetings where we're teaching stuff, and then we have 
a meeting where we have a mini mock and we reinforce the concepts and then we have a project day afterward where it's just kind of general collaboration and you guys can come in and ask questions about stuff too. Um, advanced sessions. I've had several people ask for advanced sessions. So I do want to get this going. I do want to get going. Ideally, you know, I'd love to get it going as soon as next week. Um, these were normally topics that were supposed to be uh, stuff that, you know, required a little bit of, of knowledge. You, you, for the Linux ones, like, you know, you have to know how to use Linux. You have to know some basics. Maybe they built on meeting uh, topics. But th the idea is these are supposed to be uh, sessions for somebody who, who, is a little, who has the base knowledge set up. They know how to use Linux. They know how to use Windows. Maybe they know how to use IP tables. Maybe they don't. But these were kind of some sessions where they're, they're a little more off topic. They're not built into our curriculum. They're, they're more complicated, weird things um, for people. And once again, you don't have to you know, know a ton to go to these sessions. You can go at any skill level you want. But if you don't know how to you know, CD into a directory in Linux, and it's a Linux session, you might have trouble following along. Um, a lot of topics we want to cover. I know there's a couple people who want to cover some like network uh, IDS, IPS, SIM stuff right off the bat, PDSH, automation, things as simple as like competition strategy. We might even like, uh, we, have, we have a team who went to nationals last year and they, I know as a team, would want to make some changes to what they did. So, you know, it might be a, dis a, a place where we can go and just discuss some general competition stuff. Um, it doesn't always, it won't always be structured. It won't always be like a lab and then whatever. It might just be a sit down where we're just going to talk about some stuff in general. Um, there is a link right here for advanced time where you can go and fill out a when to meet for that day. Uh, I am planning on Fridays. I think people are planning on Fridays in general. The reason we're doing that is because we kind of have these things called computer club and programming club and offsec during like the other three days. So we're shooting for Friday right now. Uh, if you hate that idea and you can never do Fridays, you know, yell at us at the end or in questions or in a different survey link we're going to have up in a second. Also record it too. Record, oh, for advanced? Yeah, we record advanced sessions. We'll record time. advanced, and I'm going to be honest, I also want to do attendance at advanced sessions too. Um, just, just so people feel like they've got that in there. What do I have to say? I'm not going to be here after. No, you can weeks. say it. That's fine. <laughs> um, this is this is kind of our plan. This is what we want to change. We want want to use three three meetings that are all split up, and then a mini mock, and then some project days. We want to bring back advanced sessions. That's our plan for the future. We want to change our content, make it more lab based, make it more hands on. Get rid of the lecture stuff. I don't think people appreciate. If you do appreciate it, tell me. Um, now, this is a time for you guys to respond to this. Ideally, using you know your hands and your voices and stuff. Uh, I know talking is hard, and people don't like to be put on the spot. So we have the questions over here, too, if you wanted to try to discuss something. It is a little bit harder to have a conversation over there, going to be honest. Uh, it's not the most robust chat application I've seen. But it's there. Um, what do you guys think of this? What topics do you want covered? We haven't covered something. That's, this is a good time to say it. And then what changes do you guys want to see? Do you want to scrap the entire thing? You have your own brilliant plan of how to fix everything? Now's the time to bring it up. Uh, we also have a, another survey. Fill that out if you, you know, don't want to discuss st stuff here or if you're somebody on the stream who couldn't make it. Uh, I think that link should be posted in chat uh, to Nick for people who don't come to meetings and want to voice their opinions as well. Um, but this is this is the time, guys. So you can you can feel free to you know raise your hand and if you want to bring something up, now's the time to do it. Here's one. Shane, you have, you have some comments? Yeah, I think it's, I think it's good. I think advanced sessions can kind of expand the cap of knowledge. Okay. Yeah. I do like the idea of having more lab based time. I would argue that the lectures, I, I don't think I need to be short, short, like five minutes. If there is more ground to go over before a lab, that just seems like a uh, I know that you had mentioned that that was like an arbitrary like cutoff type thing, but I don't think that would need to be. Yeah, so I want to make it clear when, I, when I'm saying lab, what I'm referring to is a, a setting in which the person switches over from slides and they go into a VM and they walk through stuff. Um, I'm not saying that's a period where like we just, you know, hand you a sheet and say go do it. Right. It's a period where we're going to walk through stuff in a VM. It's hands on. So there's less, you know, theory and concepts and more hands on here's how to do things. Um, some of those I do think might include a portion where it's like, yeah, you, we have 10 minutes or whatever, go work on the second box because we've already went on the concept, concepts on box one. So. You got a question in here as well, Kutcha. 
Okay, um, this person said, I don't really like the lecture stuff. Okay, um, by doing lab stuff, I think we should split into smaller groups with upperclassmen providing help. Um, something we've considered, for sure. Uh, I think it, think it is possible to mix and match and to have, you know, hands-on labs and then some hands-on labs that have a portion where people do work on their own or into smaller groups to, to accomplish something on like a secondary box. Um, currently, there's, I don't think there's any plans. If, 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 you, if you want, I guess, no hands-on period of time, you just want to work out by yourself or in small groups and try to accomplish the topic kind of, you know, by yourselves without art direction, maybe with a sheet or something, that, that'd be good to let me know. Um, it's also important to note that if you guys have, if you want to make your, your, your vote be heard, if you think there's something that needs to be changed, please fill out the survey link as well. Because then we have this recorded versus just, you know, talking in here and voicing your opinion. It's there too. This is a time to say things, guys. This is a time to tell us how much we suck. Don't let the opportunity pass you by. Especially if you're the people who don't like how things have been going and like, you know, that you don't participate. You show up because you want to fill out the attends link, but you don't participate and you don't want to interact. Like this is this is the time to tell us what we're doing wrong. I like the idea of uh, splitting the session a little bit because uh, some of us, or some of you guys are a lot more advanced I'm just coming in this so I Okay. And along the same line, yep, Ryan. Um, I was just kind of thinking, like, so if we do an advanced session on, like, phrase, the one that's happening now would be more beginner? Is that? It's going to be in line with what we've currently been covering. So the, the idea is that um, for these, we, we've, we've, we've kind of followed a curriculum of, we, you know, we started very basic Linux and Windows oh, intro yeah. and networking. And we're going to be going through some of the topics we kind of went through in previous years to a degree because we're, we're, we're trying to aim these more for people um, who don't have that content under their belt. Even if it doesn't always seem like it, that is our objective. So the advanced sessions are things that are, in general, probably not, not been covered before or are covered very rarely or they're set up in a way that it's very... Um, there, there, there's not somebody you know telling you what to do step by step. It's more of a rough guideline of we're going to try to make some things happen. You might have to Google questions. You might have to figure things out by yourself. With people there to help you, but it's not as structured. It's not as set up. Yeah, and, and that's kind of what I was thinking. Like the Tuesday one is probably going to have to be that super structured one of like yes. follow along on the screen step by step, where the advanced one can be more working in groups or you know where you have a little more free reign. Like here's a VM, get this working type thing. Yeah, and sometimes it's not even going to be that much. Sometimes it's just going to be a discussion of. These tools exist. Can we use these tools? Are they, are they any help to us? Or are they just worthless? Um, okay. So first of all, I want to get back to that. I'll, I'll get to those in just a second, Mike. Uh, he did bring up a fair point. For those of you who, who don't feel like you can keep up, feel like we're like leagues ahead in these normal sessions when they're supposed to be aimed towards you guys, please think and please let me know. Is there anything we can do to help you guys get up, get up to the pace we want you to be at? What can we provide so that you guys are able to get to a spot where you feel comfortable working with the stuff we're trying to do here on a day-to-day -day basis on Tuesdays? Okay, well, keep it in mind. Uh, yeah, so somebody's just kind of, I think it's just a comment, advanced equal more brain debt material where Tuesday equals more hands-on step-by-step. Yep, that's kind of that's the idea. Um, depending on the advanced session, there's more variety. There might be some stuff where it's step by step, but in general, there's going to be a lot of stuff where it's more of a brain dump too. So it's more variety. It's up to the instructor uh, for that day what they want to do. Uh, somebody just, you know, wanted to give me nice feelings. So for the most part, yeah, you know, that's fine. Thanks, guys. I like the encouraging comments some days. Okay. Yeah, Shane. That is that is something to consider. Um, 
And to be honest, I know we've previously had this discussion before where I don't, even, we'll, we'll consider a curriculum. It just won't be structured in the same way. Um, you can consider a curriculum if you want, but it will be a lot of varied topics. It's, yeah, it's not, we, we have some focuses we're gonna be working on. I, we, we, we do, to a degree, approve, you know. They're, they're not gonna walk in there trying to teach you how to use, prob or at least they're probably not gonna try to walk in there trying to teach you how to use like Vim and Git. Uh, we, we, you know, we have defensive topics. We do pipeline ourselves into topics we think are relevant. They might not all be relevant for competitions. They might be more relevant to some just general security practices. We might go over stuff that, that is cool and interesting, and it would take way too long to ever set up in a competition, or at least in a short-term one. So there'll be more, more breadth, more, less focused stuff. But I, I still think it's all going to be relevant material to defense and security in general. Um, if you want to consider curriculum and, you know, have plans to repeat it in like three years down the road, be my guest. <laughs> Anybody else? Anything you want to go back on the intro stuff? We have, oh, I got some more things. Oh, no, guys, I'm going to try to zoom in on a Mac. It didn't work. Okay. You have to hold control. I have to hold control and then use the gestures I would think would normally work. Okay. Um, somebody just suggested what about something like an advanced session, then going the next day or the next hour a little slower through the same thing again. Um, I guess it ties back into the idea of well, if somebody could clarify that, I'm not quite sure whether they're going for like a reinforcement, like they want to, you know, try the same thing again, which I'm, I'm hoping some, some of the instructors are going to provide for labs where they have like that extra box or they're looking for just more advanced content. Uh, we do plan to stream the advanced sessions. That was a question. Um, that is something we plan on doing. Uh, it might be, we might not have nice, you know, stuff to do it, but we plan on streaming those as well. Um, I knew this was going to happen at some point, but so, oh. Okay, so no, this is, this, is, this is a real statement. I think this should be discussed regardless. Uh, some person brought up the idea of switching, uh, flipping Windows and Linux, which should be brought up regardless if we want Linux to go first. And second of all, the idea of flipping up Windows and Linux week to week. I would be concerned that it gets too confusing. I'm going to be honest, that was something they included, but I would be concerned that if we flip it every week, it will get confusing and people will not quite remember what week they're on. So I, I do think it should be set. That's a personal opinion. You can tell me I'm wrong right now. Here's a real question. Should Linux go first or should Windows go first? That, okay. <laughs> Okay. Think about it. If people do have put things that they have to go to or other obligations, they're probably going to be later and not right at that 5.30 set time. Okay. Second and leave, so it was. It was like you put the boring one first and the not so boring one last. That was his excuse, not. Okay. It is important. So I guess that's. So I guess maybe like the more boring one goes first, quote unquote. But if you want to do one, you can set something. Well, the ten minute gap, you can like. Yeah, like you come late for what you want. Yeah. Okay. And then leave. Um. I really I just like one and go with it, and then. You Nick, should we, should we survey this, you think? Yeah, sure. yeah pop a Google form. Um, that should be up by the end of the meeting. There will be a Google form on which one should go first. Uh, this is assuming, of course, you add a throw, in, throw in a third option if they hit our ID entirely um, for that one. But yeah, there will be a Google form so Windows and Linux can fight for superiority or something. I think it would be nice if it was set, no matter how it is, so that people can plan today. I, yeah. I do plan on it being said. I don't plan to flip week to week. I don't see the benefit of that. Um, <laughs> feel free to convince me in that, that survey link if you want to. But uh, for the moment, I see no reason to try to flip it week to week. 
Uh, what time will the advanced sessions be? There is a when to meet to figure out the advanced sessions time on Friday. Um, so you can feel free to put your own schedule in there and then we're gonna try to find a, a time that works for both the, the, the largest number of people and the presenters as well. Um, which will get me into my next topic here. Okay, so the person brought up a fast session. Yeah, so this, this is back to meetings. Um, they're trying to, I think, respond to that second question, which is that a, a fast question the next day or an hour slower version, so you could go first, and if you didn't get it, go to the second. So I think the concept there is that we have an additional session after the first one where we go through stuff slower. Um, I, I like the idea to a degree. The issue I have with it, and once again, nothing set in stone here, is that the presenters do have lives. And we do, you know, take time to set the content every week. And that just, you know, just basically means they have to be here for longer too, is how that works. Um, my, my suggestion, and it, once again, I think this is aimed towards the people who, you know, we go through too fast in the first session. We don't explain things well enough. Uh, once again, if, if, if you think that's the way it should be, definitely voice it in the survey. But my opinion on that is there's two things we can do to help you. Number one, we do record the videos. So if, if we go too fast, as long as we're being clear and you know just too fast, you can watch the video again. The video does exist. The second thing is questions are always appreciated. I've had some people you know slack me questions almost on a daily basis on you know slack asking questions about stuff and that's fine that's awesome I love that um, there's also the project day which could be helpful too and the mini mock to some degree with that idea if we have the project day and you want to come ask questions about a, a lab I don't think anyone's gonna you know have any issue with that that's it's, it's the time for you guys for, for us to do things but also for you guys to come in and, and get help with stuff and then same thing goes for the mini mock uh, things will almost be faster in that, unfortunately, but there will be a time for reinforcement and a time for us to help you. If it's not too hard for presenters, could they provide a script ahead of time with the commands they're going to go through? That is a goal. And once again, it, it's, it's all a balance. Sometimes we you know, come up with an idea and then sometimes stuff gets thrown together last minute because it didn't get set up in advance. Um, I'd like to see that. It's just more time. Because if, if, somebody, if somebody, you know, has been doing this for long enough, they know what the commands are, and they just don't want to take the time. But yeah, I'd like to see that. And I'd like to encourage that. I think I will be encouraging that for presenters to have a command by command, step by step guideline of what they're going to try to do. Um, at least for the for, at least for the walkthrough portion. Yeah, and it's just a, just a restatement of, you know, the idea that the first sessions would be faster and the second would be slower. And it's just it just doubles the, the time. So definitely voice that here, which we, we know that's what you want in the voice in the survey. Um, it just, it is something we have to consider as well. Yep, yeah, so uh, just basically stating, you know, a script of commands or the relative re relevant documentation book, which if you guys didn't know, there is, Nick, how, how long is that book, would you estimate? There's like a hundred pages Nick wrote in a documentation book in the Google Drive of like just how to do things for Linux. So like, yeah, we, we, we do need to some degree presenting handouts or something you guys to look at because sometimes you do fall behind in a meeting and yeah, it's fair. That's a fair statement. I think that's fair. It's something we should be doing. I don't want to suspend though. Okay. Anything else? Okay, so if nobody else has anything else, I'm going to go to my next slide, which is, I think, the last one. We are looking for help. This is some changes. We are actually trying to do, to some ways, more work than we were doing previously. We are looking for some help in a couple different categories. If you have some more categories, please feel free to sign up, but uh, we're looking for more people to present. If you are a person who was here all last year DefSec, or even a semester last year DefSec, or you're just a freshman who knows a lot, Please sign up to present. I know uh, we're not going to throw you into it. We're not just going to say, oh, we need you to present on this topic two days from now. We're going to give you time. We're going to give you a, a long, we're going to give you like a month in advance, if not, let's say three weeks to a month in advance before you'd have to present. And then we're going to help you every step of the way. We already have content out there. You have the ability to go back and watch past years videos too if it's a similar topic. Um, even if you don't feel like you, you could present, I guess, I, I, I do encourage you to try it. We are here to help you. 
but that is something I'd like to see more people presenting, especially um, if you haven't presented before. So that's that's the people I'm talking to primarily is, yeah, if you haven't presented, we'd, we'd really love for you guys to present. I think everybody has something to bring to the table and has something to share. And sometimes we just need a topic presented, but I think we could, if you guys would be willing to, definitely go through that with you so you're able to do that. Uh, also looking for help scoring injects. That's just kind of a day-to-day -day thing. We have mocks. There's some processes involved. Some of those scoring injects. Um, other things we need help with, building the mock environments as well. Those, those do take work, you know. I can't quite throw up a mock, bo my, a mock environment box in like 30 minutes. It takes a little bit longer than that to a degree. So we're looking for help building mocks. We're looking for help building mini mocks. And we also have dev work that we, we do. There's some stuff behind the scenes you guys might not see, like the scoring engine. That's a big program. We do a lot of things with that. It's not, uh, you know, three lines in bash. It takes some effort. We're interested in trying to teach people up and teach them how to use our stuff. And then, you know, to some degree, teach them how to, how to help and how to contribute and how to program what we need programmed. The mock, the, or pushing out boxes to you guys, I do that. That's my scripts that do that. And that's not, you know, three lines either. That takes effort to do. So people who can contribute and people who want to learn how to program and contribute, we're definitely interested in doing that. Um, there is an interest form right there. This is an interest form. This is not a contractual obligation. If you're interested, sign it up. You're not required to do anything. Uh, if you fill out the form, we're not going to make you do anything. But I would love to see who's interested even a little bit in doing some of the things. There's a lot of different check boxes on it for everything I have up here and I think a couple more, as well as if you have any other ideas and you want to help out doing those, there's a check box for that to do other and then fill in whatever you want to. So we are looking for help. Um, takes a lot of effort to do these things. And having the same three people do it or, you know, same six people do it, uh, means we can't use some of our time to do other things. The more people we have involved, the better. Because then we can get to the point where we have a fully functioning red team engine. And we can have a system where we can deploy mocks really fast because we put in the effort and wrote the software that does that. And a lot of other tools and a lot of other things that are streamlined and work better because we took the time to do it. Okay. I think I got, got through everything, Nick. Okay, any other questions? Any other discussions? Anything else you want to tell us for terrible about? No, okay, gotcha. So, anybody else have anything else to say? Okay, I'm going to close out, guys. Uh, stay after if you have questions about anything else, too. We're, we're, we'll be around. So, yeah, if you have questions about the mock from Saturday, like questions about the environment or anything like that, we can talk about that, too, if you want to stick around. Yeah, that's true. So, if you guys uh, had stuff during the mock uh, and you have questions about that, Anything about that related, or just you know anything else in general? Please stick around. We'll be we'll be here. Um, there will be are all the surveys in chat now. Uh, pretty sure, yeah. Yeah. So all the surveys are in chat. Please make sure to fill out the ones that you know. Fill out the interest form if you want to do that. Fill out the nominations if you want to become an officer, or you want someone else to be an officer. Fill out the nomination sheet, and then you know fill out the survey feedback if you want to bring anything else to the table. Okay. Thanks, guys. That'll be the meeting for tonight.